And then the, first, um, the paintings that, uh, that you were talking about start with the flag painting, and that uh, it's sometimes scorned that I, the truth, which is that one night I dreamed I painted a large American flag. And the next morning I got up and I went out and bought materials to begin it. But what is the collage material made out of? Paper and rags, newspaper, uh, any kind of paper. I mean, what, what is the order of application? Uh, In that painting, it would be hard to describe. <laughs> it would be very hard to describe because some things I stitched onto the, on, onto the canvas with thread. I think the can, I don't know what the canvas was. It's probably, a, I think it was a sheet. And things were sewn on, and it's a very rotten painting because I began it in like uh, house enamel paint, and it wouldn't dry quick enough. And then I had in my head this idea of something I had read, I heard, I don't know what about wax, encaustic, and I changed in the middle of the painting to that because the encaustic just has to cool, and then it's hard, and you don't you don't blur it again. Whereas the enamel, you have to wait eight hours or something for it to. You do that, you have to wait eight hours before you do that. Whereas with the encaustic, you can just keep on. In a sense, that's the precise opposite of drip and all that, isn't it? Well, it drips so far, stops. Like each discrete movement is remains discrete. Say within an area of red, you, you could still divide that into something else. You could see a drip of something or that or a piece of paper or whatever even though it was all red. Then I thought, well, what, is, what difference does the color make then if what you're doing is not looking at the color, but looking at these other things? The, the combination of this new material and this, for me, new image or new idea about imagery made things very lively for me at that time and started my mind working and, I, and my arm. Um, I always felt there was a connection between the American flag and, and the fact that you're from the South. Well, my Aunt Gladys once, when she read a thing in a magazine, wrote me a letter saying she was so proud of me because she had worked so hard to instill some respect for the American flag in her students. <laughs> and she was so glad that the mark had been left <laughs> on me. In thinking about the imagery of the flag and what what was trying to say what it was like, then I thought of the target. Then I had, I don't know why I had this idea, but I had this idea that I would have the target with these wooden blocks above. I, I was concerned with, with the approach and distance and contact with the painting. So I had the idea that these blocks could become, could be movable and they could be attached to something behind the target that would make noise, so that each one would make a different sound. That was the way it started. <laughs> then I didn't like the idea. I don't know why. Maybe it was too difficult. I don't remember. But at any rate, my studio had in it uh, various plaster casts, life that I had done from people, like ha hands and feet and faces and things. And so I simply thought of these wooden sections, instead of moving back and, back and forth and activating sounds, as, as being able to lift up and see something rather than hear something. And then I saw these things I had, and I decided to uh, put them in it. So I did. What about, what about Dada, Neo Dada, and Duchamp, with whom you've already been uh, allied? What about Dada? What kind of question is that? What about Dada? <laughs> <laughs> when uh, Duchamp uh, made his cage of uh, marble cubes that looked just like sugar lumps, representing or fashioning what could easily be duplicated and fashioning it in a traditionally artistic material like marble, and making marble look like an industrial product like sugar cubes. Uh, John's followed him by casting a flashlight or a beer can in bronze and then painting them in some cases to look 
identical or a, a can, a coffee can filled with paintbrushes, uh, casting it in bronze and then carefully painting it so you couldn't tell the difference between the bronze version and the real version. Well, all the, the point of all that is supposed to be the point.